In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a formatter and to do the custom data binding step by step. I already have a project set up already, so I just uh, create the, oh sorry, in the Maven, I just add dependency for MVC and this one is to solve the compiler issues uh, for the usage of servlet. And then in the dispatch servlet initialization, I just add the slash for handle all the request and I have a configuration which is a web application context configuration class. And here I just set a component scan and the view resolver for the GSP page. Okay. And the next one. Uh, first, we will give a scenario which we are going to have a model first, okay? And uh, we are using the scenario I introduced just now. So we're going to have a private string area code. I'm going to have private string uh, prefix, okay? And I'm going to have a private string number, which is a phone number. Then I'm going to have uh, getter setters for all three fields. And uh, next one, uh, next one, I'm going to have uh, another class, which is uh, customer, right? And uh, in the customer, we're going to have a private string first, refer to first name, okay? Let's make something different. Not a point last means last name. And then we have a private phone. Phone oh, have an association with the phone. Now, same thing. I'm gonna add the setters. Oh, getters and setters. Getters and setters. Select all of them. And uh, that's it. Next step is I'm gonna write a controller. Now it's empty. I'm gonna write a controller. Go to have a controller called the customer controller. Remember to add the annotation controller let spring to maintain the life cycle of the controller for you, customer controller for you, okay? Next one, I'm gonna have my first method, which is uh, uh, gate customer form okay add get mapping i will using our root so when your application starts it's gonna go to this method and this method gonna return customer form the, uh, not a jsp okay we we already go created the, the config the view resolver so there's no jsp next one we will have a post mapping Post mapping, you guys still using slash, okay? And suppose if you want to use self, you just give a self, okay? Or, or self customer. You can use it this way. Uh, oh, sorry, this is not a method, sorry for that. This is annotation, public string, uh, self customer. And here we will do the binding customer, C U A C U S T O M customer customer okay and uh, we uh, we will do nothing here but I'm gonna do for what what you can do is here you can save to database right but uh, this is uh, another topic we will introduce later and here I'm gonna go to customer detail page okay uh, in the custom detail, I'm, I'm going to display all the informations we input on the page. So first thing is, I have to create the first page, GS page GSP page called customer form. I will have a customer form. Oh, let's give a better name. Add a new customer. Okay. And the next one is I give an H1. How about I give an H1? Add a new customer. And then I'm gonna have a paragraph. Let's, uh, let's have a form, not a paragraph. Sorry for that. Have a form 
form is the inline element and I give an action. Action should be what? Should be save customer, but make sure you don't have a leading slash. Okay, and uh, because if you have a leading slash, uh, it's gonna remove your context root. Okay, and then I'm gonna have a paragraph here. And the first thing is the first name. Okay, first name, I have input, input, put. You don't need to give a type equals text because by default input is a type equals text. And you just give a name, okay, to for the data binding. So what's the name should be put here? If a first name, you have to go, it's bind to a customer. So you go to the customer, you bind to the first, this attribute. Okay, it's gonna be using your getters and setters. And last name, and when using input name, this one, I think you got an idea, which is the last. And the last one, paragraph, and we have a phone number, okay? And this one is input name. Since we are practicing customer data binding for matter, here we will bind to customer object phone object okay so here we are using phone and the next one don't forget about you have to have a type is submit to actually submit your values let's give a add customer because different browser will give different name, default name for submit. Some we are using submit, some we are using queries or search. Okay, now we are done our customer form page. The next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a customer detail page. So this one is the customer detail. Uh, there's something special here because you have a automatic data binding here. When you put a model a domain model in the post method, this one will be automatically in the request scope. Because Spring gonna create an object, you which type is a customer, then it will call the setter method and assign those uh, request parameters uh, to your object. Then he will put this object inside uh, your request scope, which is using model. And uh, that's the reason when you go to the tab page, you can directly using this as a key to retrieve the values. So here in my customer detail, you can directly say here, uh, paragraph, okay, uh, what's the thing? Customer uh, name, okay, let's use a name. Name gonna be customer dot first, okay? And have a space, okay? Customer dot last. And now we can display the phone, okay? Phone number. Sorry for my type typing. You're using customer dot phone dot area. I forgot it's area code. Which one? Oh, this one. Area code. Let's go back. Area code. You can also using. This one is the prefix, and this one is the number. And uh, if I run now, or it it won't work. Uh, if you don't trust me, then let's run and see what what happened. Okay, let me show you. It won't work. Okay, mm, so I'm gonna run in debug mode.
uh, when you run in debug mode, it's a little bit slower. Okay, it's a little bit. And uh, I actually don't like the output, the layout of the output in debug mode because I feel very strange. Okay, anyway, anyway, I don't need that probably. How can I make it? Okay, I can do like this one. Yes, yes, this one is better, okay? So now let me switch to the browser to show you it does not work, okay? Mm. Uh, browser, okay? So now you can see I have a new customer. Now let me write uh, your favorite name. It's gonna be in the future, okay? Rujian. <laughs> See and uh, phone number. This is not, not my number, okay? Okay. See here, you will get four hundred bad request. And uh, let me show you the IntelliJ. You're gonna have some errors in the IntelliJ. The IntelliJ. Where's my IntelliJ? Okay, here. So now you can see you have an error here. Okay, field in object customer on field phone, reject value. Okay, this is the value what is you type in the browser, right? We I type in the browser, and it will have a type mismatch. What is a type mismatch? It means uh, here. The prop can fail to convert property value of a string. The 641451111 you type is a string type. But you require a phone object reference type. It cannot convert. That's the, um, that's the error. And that's the reason you need for a formatter to tell Spring how to convert your string into a reference type. I'm gonna stop here and uh, this video I'm gonna show you the problem and the next video I'm gonna show you how to solve the problem. Okay, uh, see you soon.